So hello again, my name is Pranit and welcome to our Trading View Pinescript series. In this video, we are going to build and backtest a new ATR intraday reversal strategy. So you can see over here, the net profit is 113%, total close trades are 212%, percent profitable is 53.3%, profit factor is 1.5% and the max total is 10.83%. So this is the intraday strategy that we have built and I'm going to share it right now. Now let us build the new ATR intraday reversal strategy. So you can see I have divided the codes into various parts. The first is the user inputs. The second is the previous day close. The third is the trading indicators. Then we have the buy short signals. Then we have the strategy functions. And then the last we have the plotting of the indicators, right? So in this you can see, right? the user inputs, we have the ATR length, then we have the stop loss, then we have the timing controls, right? So let's just plot the ATR length is equals to input default value as 10. And then we have the multiplier for the ATR is equals to multiplier can be into decimal values. So, you know, if we want to keep it in the decimal values, we have to use float. So input dot float default value as one so you know this is going to be a very long video because this is a different concept on how we can use the ATR indicator the user inputs of the ATR are done then the we have the user inputs for stop loss short stop is equals to input dot float default value as 0.4 okay so this is a short only strategy we are not going to trade the long signals we are only going to trade the short signals so title is equals to short stop okay and then, then we have the timing controls as this is the intraday strategy we need to have the timing control so trade time is equals to input dot session default value i'm just going to keep the first one hour of the day and then we have to have the square of timing right so square of time is equals to input dot session and the default value is 1445 to 15 to 15 right so we're done with the user inputs let's just calculate the previous day close so i want the previous day close right so whenever we want so we are going to trade on a 15 minute time frame and i need the previous day close right so time frame is daily so whenever we are into a lower time frame and i want the value of a price on the higher time frame, we use request security function. So daily value is equals to request dot security, then sim info dot ticker ID. So sim info dot ticker ID, and then we have a time frame, right? So time frame is going to be daily, and then we have the expression. So I need the previous day close so close and to remove the repainting we are going to use bar state dot is real time bar state dot is real time if it is true i want one otherwise i want zero okay so we are done with this so this is a basically a multiple time frame function so trading indicator so first is the atr correct a dot ATR and you can see right we have the length so ATR length which is 10 correct then we have the you no know, uh, ATR bands and stop loss so let's just create the ATR bands first so it is upper band is equals to daily value so the previous day close not the current day close because the current day close will be you know fixed when the day is over so we need the previous day close so you can also calculate the you know yesterday's or the day before yesterday close it really depends upon how do you want to use it for simplicity i'm just going to calculate the previous day close so instead of previous day close right you can also calculate the previous day high open low close i'm going to keep it as close and for upper band it will be daily value correct plus the atr multiplied by the multiplier correct so it will so if the close is 100 and the ATR length is 10 so i'm just going to do the calculation over here so let's assume that the previous day close is 100 
our ATR length is 10 and if the multiplier is 5 so it will be 100 plus 50 which is 150 so our upper band value is going to be 150 okay then for the lower band again the same we just have to subtract it okay here we go so now uh, upper band and lower band is done also we can also calculate the middle value of the upper band and lower band so median is equals to one second upper band plus lower band and then divided by two okay so this is nothing but the middle value of the both the bands okay so lower band over here so we have calculated the ATR we have calculated the ATR bands and now stop loss for short so stop SS is equals to so short stop is equals to strategy dot position average price multiplied by so you know we are into a short position right so our stop loss is going to be above the price so one plus the one second uh, one plus the short stop divided by 100 and then parenthesis over here okay so we are done with uh, all the trading indicators uh, there is one more thing that we need to calculate is the trade timings i am going to calculate the timing controls as well correct so i am going to create a custom function so bars in session trade time and then so to create a custom function we use this symbol and then time and then the time frame and the session so time frame will be time frame dot period so time frame dot period means it will take the time frame that we have set on the chart okay and then the session so you will not see session over here i don't know why but as soon as we plot the session you will see uh, let me just go over here and trade time okay and now you will see right we have the time frame session and bars back okay so this time function basically returns the unix time of the current bar for the specified time frame and session so you know it checks if we are into that session or not so our session currently is 9 15 to 10 15 so this time function will return the unix time from 9 15 to 10 15 and if our time is above the 10 15 correct therefore we are out of the session therefore it will not return the unix time and once we are out of the session it will plot nan so basically it will show none okay so i really hope that you have understood this particular concept and then in session right so this will be bars in session trade time and over here i'm going to use the na is equals to is equals to false okay and then square of is equals to na bars in session and then the square of time is equals to is equals to false so if it is is equals to is equals to false therefore we are into the session and if it is true therefore we are out of the session okay this is what the na function does all right so now we have calculated the in session we have calculated the square of so now we're done with everything so basically this is not going to be buy and short signals we're only going to code the uh short signals so this will be short okay so we are done with everything now i'll just create the strategy function so if short strategy dot entry id as short direction as strategy dot short and then we have the comment as short okay and then if for this is i know we have to exit our short position either with the square off or with the stop loss right so this is the stop loss coding position size is less than zero so if we are into a short position i want to exit my short position when our stop loss is hit right so id is short and then stop is equals to stop is equals to short stop and then comment as stop okay stop loss and the last thing is if square off I need to exit my short positions when the particular square of timing is over. So, so once the 1445 to 15 candle is closed, we are going to exit our short position. Okay, and then 
square of okay and then the last is the plotting of the indicator so plotting of upper band and lower band so plot upper plot the lower band and then plot the median and then we have to plot the stop loss so strategy dot position size is less than zero so if you're into a short position i want to plot stop loss for a short otherwise i don't want to plot anything color will be color dot red style will be plot dot style and then line vr line break and then color is equals to our uh, color we have already done so line width is equals to two all right so now let me save it in the meantime let's just give the band colors so color dot green then we have color red and over here color dot white now let me save it and there is one more mistake that i did is instead of high being greater than the upper band i need my low to be greater than the upper band so i don't want my prices to be touching the upper band so it has to be low should be greater than the upper band okay and now uh, let me just delete this and add the chart again and you can see right this is a equity curve so this is a pure intraday trading strategy so let's just verify the signals first uh, okay great so can you see over here over here at this candle so we are trading the first hour of the day right so after 10 15 we are not going to take any new short signals we are only going to exit our short signals but we are not going to take any new short signals after 10 15. so can you see at this candle our low is above the upper band correct so we cannot keep the high above the upper band so if we are keeping the high above the upper band that means there is a chance that the prices can touch the upper band so i need my low to be greater than the upper band so at this candle our low is greater than the upper band once this candle is closed we are going to enter into a market order and you can see right the prices are falling to the downside and we don't have a target right we only have a stop loss we don't have a target so in reversal signals right we try to capture maximum points and that is the reason i have not kept any target in this particular system so can you see uh, once the 1445 to 15 candle is complete we are exiting our short position at the square off okay you can see our short signal is there over here because the low is not touching the upper band but our stop loss is hit over here and the prices are rising to the upside okay again if you see over here uh, you know this is kind of a break even trade over here you will see again you know this is a break even trade not too much loss but yeah can you see over here again you know the prices did not went above did not went below it just you know it is just in a sideways zone and basically we have a square off over here okay so you can see over here we have a short as the prices are not touching the upper band prices did went rapidly to the downside it again went up and then we have a square off so technically we made a profit over here over here we made a loss as our stop was hit okay okay you can see right uh we have a short as the prices are not touching the upper band and then there's a rapid fall to the downside and we have a square off over here okay so you know everything is working well as per what we have coded you can see right over here prices are not touching the upper band so we have a short and then we have a square off so we made a profit over here so again you can see over here that we have a short as the prices are not touching the upper band and then uh, we have a good fall to the downside and we have a square off over here okay so the this particular signals are working very well let us see the strategy tester you can see we have a net profit of 144 percent total close trades are 217 and drawdown is very controlled it is below 10 percent so i kept the initial capital as 1.5 lakhs that just keep the commission as 0 0.2 percent 0.02 percent and you will see we have 110 percent as that profit after the commission and drawdown is almost to 10 percent so let's just see uh, how the strategy will work after some basic optimization so if i change the trade timing to 10 30 we were on the net profit of uh, 110 
it is loading I'll just give it some time you can see it is 108 percent let's just see at 11 you can see it is 126 percent even after the commissions so this is the equity curve and the drawdown is only seven percent so let me just you know we can go forward and optimize but i will leave that up to you you are going to get this code uh, just remember that you also do your own back test because you know uh, my job only here is to you know program various trading strategies with the combinations of technical analysis and technical indicators and provide it to you but you know you have to do your own due diligence you have to study this pattern you have to back test you have to add more indicators and then you have to decide what you want to do okay so over here if we keep it as 10 it is 110 percent again let us see how it performs if you only trade at the first candle of the day you can see right it is 29 percent so it is not working so let me just keep it as 10 15 the first hour of the day and you can see it is 110 percent so if it is 11 it is 126 if it is 11 30 almost the first two hours of the day you can see it is 120 percent okay so i'm just going to keep it as 11 15 the first two hours of the day and after that we are not going to take any new trades okay so it is 110 percent only so better to keep it as 10 30 or 10 15 okay so now uh, let us check if we move the square of timing to the next candle what happens so earlier it was 1445 to 15 now it is 15 to 15 so you know no major changes in the strategy so let me just keep it as 1445 to 15 okay i'm just going to reset the settings again all right so now uh, this is the net profit and now let's just change the ETR length multiplied on the stop loss just to see how the strategy is performing so if we keep it as 20 it will just make the upper band and lower band smoother if we increase the ATR length you uh, know uh, uh, that, that is the maximum that it is going to do because the higher the ATR length therefore the more smooth out the average will be you can see right once we have kept 50 it is 117% and the drawdown is near to 9% okay so let's assume that if we increase the multiplier to 2 what happens so if we increase the multiplier you know the strategy is failing uh, let's just keep it as 1.5 or 1 and then see how it is performing 1.5 we can see the net profit is even though we have a positive equity curve but it is not better than the you know when we keep the multiplier as 1 all right so now this is the equity curve so if we keep it as 10 it is 110 percent if we keep it as uh, you know 50 it is uh, near to 117% so 7% difference alright so I guess we are done with the code this is the basic optimization that I did let's just check if we keep the stop loss as 1 if we give the price a little bit space to move let's just see how it is performing so you can see that once we have kept the uh, stop loss to 1 you can see the net profit is increasing to 113 percent and the drawdown is almost the same so instead of keeping a tight stop loss we are just giving the price a little space to move if we keep it as 0.5 so we are not going to keep any target we are only going to keep fixed stop loss or trailing stop loss okay so let me just keep it as 1 okay, you know, or, we can, or you can keep the default settings as well just make sure that you do your own research and optimization when you get this code so basically this is it to the video uh, if you want this code just text us on our whatsapp business number and i will make sure that the code gets to you also remember that i have coded trading strategies pullback trading strategies swing trading strategies the link of all those videos will be in the description so make sure to check those videos out and if you like this video please subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what you think about this trading strategy so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video